All right, this is a typing test for a really nice 1969 SM8 typewriter. This is uh, just like one step down from the SM9. That's their flagship. There's really only two differences. There's no touch selector, so it's really easy to type on. It's pretty light touch type, but if you like it heavy, uh, this isn't the typewriter for you. That said, if you're used to typing on a computer keyboard, this is going to work. Uh, also, it doesn't have an automatic tab setting. It's got push button tabs. You push it in and move it around. And I've set them all the way across. So you can see the tab moves from tab to tab just like that. So let me see if there's anything else. They, they only made these for a couple of years. This, this lovely, I mean, this is my favorite coloring, the gray and the cream. It's just a really nice typewriter. So let's get on with the uh, typing test. I'm gonna be doing a poem by Thomas Hardy, a faint heart in a railway train. One of my favorite poets. I'm not going to do my normal double space because it's a pretty long title. Alright, so our caps lock works, our red works. So far, so good. One more space. Out of the black. Take a quick break. I don't know if it's easy to tell in the video, but this these Olympia machines really like them. They've got the shift that mirrors the Smith Corona because the patent had expired, so they use that. And um, I don't use this for all typewriters, but these and Adlers especially, they, there's like a rhythm. You can get into a groove and just really get going. Anyways, it's just really fun to type on. So here's the second stanza of this poem. One thing to note too is characters are different than they are in a computer keyboard in different locations, like the double quotes that I just used. It slows you down a little bit till you get used to it.
This, like a lot of older machines, uh, does not have a one key, so you would use a lowercase l. But it does have an exclamation point. A lot of older machines don't, so that's nice. Poem's done, and now I'm going to do the typing test, show the vertical alignment, and all the characters are working. Right, I successfully remembered the English alphabet again. So here's the numbers. We have a three quarters, so I'll do the fractions first. It's a really nice typeface. This is a sweet little typewriter and it's got a really nice typeface. Alright, now for the characters. Finished typing test for this gorgeous 1968 Olympia SM8 typewriter. Thanks very much for watching.